Welcome to another episode of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts. Matt Sign along with Gamer Nick and Death Toll. Today we're gonna be trying Milky Way Salted Caramel. Milky Way. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts on Milky Way as a whole? I like them. Yeah, eh. they're alright. Eh. Alright. They're like a, they're like a shitty Snickers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. They're fine, but at least they're better they're than Baby Roots. Baby Roots are the worst. Like no, about I my love fingers. It. Really? Yeah. It's so moosey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hold on. Okay, split this in half and give some to Chuck. <laughs> All right, let's try. It tastes like a regular Milky Way. Okay. Like I literally do not taste the difference. There's some crunch in there. There's some salt. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, right? some salt. I think that actually pumps it mm -hmm. from like a regular tube. Mm -hmm. I'm a better. And the caramel, wow. the caramel tastes a lot better mm. with the salt in it. Oh, that salt accentuates, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, it makes oh. it way better. Right? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what? I taste it now. Let it melt it's down. Still, mm. It's still not good. crystals in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still not good at, uh, as good as a uh, regular Snickers, though. Damn, that is. That's, right. that's the best Milky Way I've ever had, yeah. though. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, yeah. No, I changed my mind. Mm -hmm. It's actually better than I thought. If, wow. if, like, after you give it a few minutes? Yeah. That's when it gets good. Okay. <laughs> that is really good. <laughs> yeah, that is the best Milky Way. I give like a Milky Way a four out of five. This one is easily a five. Like they did bump it up. It's not perfect. Wouldn't give the seal of approval. Solid five out of five. Um, I would buy this before I buy a regular Milky Way. I oh, give it a yeah. four. I mean, I loved it. It was really good. Yeah, I give it a four. four. A low four. Does anybody I, count I think, a dime? Uh, Snickers are rated above that. So. I am always wins though. It does. I always had a thing as a kid where I would uh, pour salt on the table at the restaurant, like a savage, and then I would like lick it with my finger. And so, as an adult though, that's why I love combos. Because after you're done with the bag of combos, there's always like salt down there. So I'll lick my finger and like the Oh combos. yeah, I've done that. So basically I do, I go... <coughs> Did my cat just make a weird sound? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have, never, I have <laughs> never heard him make a sound. Are you okay? I was trying to make a labia <laughs> joke and he, what the hell was that? He was yawning, but like, I've never heard a sound ever come out of him. <laughs> Are you okay? Do I have to take you into the emergency room? <laughs> no, what the right. hell was that? <laughs> Alright, well, fuck my joke. Uh, yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Here we go, who has gotten lucky? Oh, Mad Zion's gonna start off inside of one of the pods. Is an elimination chamber match. Let's go, this Making 19K's his legendary so far, pretty good. From Rancho Cucamonga, California, weighing in at 200. I'm drinking a pounds. black cherry white claw Max right now. Gotta Z. say, it's my favorite so far, hell yeah, dude. It is the best of all the seltzers. I think the uh, Bud Light black cherry's a little better, but they're all, all the black cherries are pretty good. All right, who else is lucky? Oh, the Hulk starting out inside of a pod. First, from New York, weighing in at 227 pounds. It is one door. Hulk. Okay, two more people are going to get lucky here. And two are going to get fucked. Who else is getting lucky? I bet it's Chuck. Yep, Kyle called it. And representing the Grinders from San Francisco, <laughs> California, weighing in at 185 pounds. Chuck. All right, one last, one last person gonna get lucky. Oh, it's it's four loco. Four loco gets the final spot inside the chamber. Wow, what a chamber match! You couldn't have booked this better other than Hulk. But you know what? That's all right there. The former champion looking to reclaim his title from Stone Cold ET, and he's got a path directly. In head of, ahead of him. This is gonna be, oh man, if he, if Four Loco wins, I'm, oh, can you imagine the hype for the rematch? Now, yeah, Jesus, this, the entrance takes fucking forever. Uh, Nukem and Corn, what a start. Yeah, dude, motherfucking Corn and Duke Nukem, they are gonna, they're gonna just go at it. There he is, Four Loco. The former heavyweight champion of the world wants to reclaim his former glory. He claims. Nacho Libre being entered into the triple threat match is what did him in as Stone Cold ET caught him off guard after he eliminated Nacho from the matchup. Nacho Libre on fire, that's true. Pounds. Loco. 
Uh, da -da -da. That fort look was amazing. Yeah, JT Savage made this one. JT Savage makes almost all of our creations, so give him credit for it. When is the OG Loco video going up? Very soon. Very, very soon. All right, let's go. I want to get to it. I'm so, I'm so hyped for this match. I already, we still have Fruit Stripe Horse and Gay Shark two out of three falls title for title. This is going to be something. Morrowind is 18 years old today. Oh, wow. So you're saying I could fuck it legally? Okay, I'm down. It's such a good game. And Balls of Steel. From Seattle, Washington. Weighing in at 319 pounds. Dude, he's jacked. Duke. Duke. Duke, Duke Nukem. Unfortunately, having to start this matchup out. It is luck of the draw. And motherfucking corn as well. Gonna definitely have to take those, uh, those titles down. Wow, I don't... What the hell? I don't remember his entrance being this. The Garden of Eden, in at oh, okay. Just the yellow part. Pounds. Corn! 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 <laughs> wow, this is gonna be fucking incredible. Let's do this thing. Corn and Duke Nukem. That's a matchup I would love to see one-on-one -on -one, one day. Fans still into Corn. One of the longest reigning champions we've ever had in the history of our company. All right, let's go. Predictions, who you guys got winning this? I'm I'm going with four Loco. I think Loco is the obvious choice. But I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if anybody wins. Any of these people other than Chuck are capable of winning. You should have Korn versus uh, Har Harlan Sanders? The Colonel versus the Colonel? Oh, you mean, you mean Colonel Sanders. Is that his real name was Harlan? Ugh, what a weird name. All right, Duke Nukem kicks it off early. Oh, just taking it right to Corn. Oh, I see. Well, Matt picking Chuck. Lindsay picks Corn. Same with JT Savage. Uh, and Jay Silver just simply says, fuck Chuck. All right, fair enough. All right, and Duke beating him. Oh, big boot. Damn, Duke has come out to play. Duke getting as aggressive as possible. Maybe his strategy is to defeat Corn in the first 60 seconds. Should be a tall order, but if he can get rid of him, then he can face every opponent as they come out. But that would be a tall order. Look at Duke Nukem. Look at the agility of this guy. Just slam. Wow, that was a very delayed sound. That, that can't bode well for this not crashing. <clears throat> and Duke absolutely dominating Corn early on here. Going for a cover, too. That was his strategy, I guess. Try to eliminate him, but that's just not going to happen. All right, who's coming out first? Who's it gonna be? Everything on the line here. And it's the Hulk! All right, Hulk. Getting unlucky, but coming out next. It's Chuck Rowland, Four Loco, and Matt Zion still await coming out of the chamber. I've never seen a chamber match. They're pretty fun. They're, they're pretty fun. What's up, Future? How you doing, dude? Oh, wow, and Duke Nukem grabbing the Hulk and treating him like a jobber, but Hulk's not having it. Oh, look at that strength. I find it ironic that Chuck and Matt are in there with uh, Four Loco in the pods because they're going to get fucked up, my guess. Oh, look at Korn getting teamed up on Double Backbreaker. Damn, oh, but that alliance did not last long. Duke Nukem and Hulk immediately turning on one another. And what the hell? Oh, what a counter by Hulk. Countering a scoop slam into a DDT. Korn is definitely getting fucked up, yeah. All right. Coming out next. Who we got? And it's Matt and Zion out next. Four Loco and Chuck still in their respective pods. Zion has had zero success <laughs> since this. Oh, he locks on a crossface onto Duke right away. But Duke gets out of him, of course. He has barely had anything done to him so far, offensive wise. Oh, and there's a nice boot again. Duke Nukem is a fucking monster. Oh, kick out. Wait, Corn. STO takedown. Hulk gets rocked. Pinfalls have to take place in the ring here. They can go to the outside. Uh, they probably won't go to the outside as much now when I turn that off, which I find ironic, but that's okay. And nice arm drag off the top rope. Korn trying to get rid of Hulk early. That's not going to work. Got a two count, though. All right, is it going to be Chuck or Four Loco? It's coming out next. Ring's already filled up. Who's it gonna be? 
And it is for Loco. Chuck Rowland rolls the dice. And he uh, he gets lucky. You should hide the uh, load screen when chamber matches. It puts them in entrance order. Oh, well, if you hadn't said that, none of us would have known. <laughs> Alright. Boom shakalaka. Oh, wait. No, does it, though? I don't know if that's, that's true. All right, they are on the outside at least. Four Loco going straight after Corn. This would have been an amazing match as well if they got a rematch. They, I believe Four Loco is the one that took it. Was he the one that took it away from Corn? Maybe not. I'm dumb. Yeah, I don't. I think it is just completely random. I don't think I've ever heard that, Mortis. All right, and now we know Chuck's gonna come out next. This is starting to even down quick. The anti-circumcision dude that was on Tosh.0 claims that some doctors get hard-ons from circumcising babies. I don't think that's the case. Matt's taking a nap? Yeah. I'm not particularly great. All right, Chuck's in. Everybody's in. Winner faces Stone Cold ET for the title on the next stream. A big matchup. Oh, what a Hurricane Rana by Chuck. Taking Hulk down like he's nothing. What is Chuck doing? Chuck going to the top rope. Chuck across the ring with a missile elbow. What a maneuver by Chuck. All these guys would be definite threats to Stone Cold DT's title run. And oh, the big DDT to Zion Corn trying to eliminate Matt first. One, two. Oh, he kicks out, stays in. Oh, Chuck, what the hell move was that to the Hulk? One, two. Oh, kick out. I thought that was it for Hulk. Look at the load screen again. Corn and Duke were in front of Hulk, and Matt were in the middle, and Chuck and Loco were on the ends. But in that exact order? Or just in the general order? Eh, either way, fuck it. Don't worry about it. And oh, there we go. Nice knee. No one's ever going to remember that. Oh, Corn is serious about eliminating the Hulk here. One knee, and now he's going to go for the elbow as well. Into the cover. Is that it for Hulk? One, two, Three Hulks eliminated. Hulk is out of here. Corn with a big elimination. Goodbye. It's in the order of whoever is closest to the screen coming out first, and it just goes left to right the entrance order. Eh, that's fine. I don't care. I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. So you guys will just have to pretend to be surprised because I'll never remember. All right, Hulk's gone. Matt going after Chuck, which makes a lot of sense. Kitchen sinks by Corn. Do Corn eliminating Hulk was big. Now we're guaranteed to have a good challenger for Stone Cold DT, regardless of what happens. All right, and Zion. Reverse DDT to Corn. Except Chuck. Chuck would be good. I'd like to see Chuck and Stone Cold DT. Oh, God. Zion gets laid out by a lariat. Duke Nukem looking really good still. Same with Corn, though. Both these guys started the chamber and they're still kicking ass. Zion getting choked out. Oh, Corn is starting to starting to show some problems, actually. Corn looking really tired here. And Zion thrown to the outside. Chuck's not done. Chuck's tired of all of Matt's abuse. All the four locos he forced him to drink. But wait, watching the ring. Duke Nukem and Loco having a battle. Nice fall away slam. This matchup. So many legends in there. Uh, was Duke champion in 2K18? Yes. Yes, he was. And wait, Duke picks up Loco. Here we go. Wait, the zero hour. There it is. The zero hour. Is that it for Loco? One, two. Oh, for Loco kicking out just barely. Duke Nukem almost eliminating the former champion. What an embarrassment that would be. Anything can happen here. Stone Cold ET has to be just watching this backstage with such interest. Zion, nice Samoan drop. Oh, Zion and uh, Duke Nukem teaming up with each other. But Loco able to fight him off. Zion and Duke Nukem having a temporary alliance. Oh, God, there it is. The Tiger Suplex. That's put down a lot of opponents. Is that enough to get rid of four Loco from the equation? One, two. Oh, he stays in it. Corn, wait a minute. Corn with the big DDT. That big corn holio DDT. One, two. He eliminates Duke Nukem. Corn has defeated the Hulk and Duke Nukem in this matchup. Corn is a return to form. 
Korn kicking some serious ass here. Goodbye, Duke. Uh oh, Zyde in trouble on the top rope. What a performance by Korn. Loco with a, oh God. Oh no, brain buster to Zion. Top rope, oh wait a minute, no, Chuck pinning Korn. One, two. Oh, Chuck eliminates Korn. Chuck eliminates Korn, he's out. Oh, after a great performance. Damn. Damn, Loco's trying to get rid of Chuck, or Matt Zion, one. Two! Oh, it's and down to four Loco and Chuck! Eliminated. It's down to four Loco and Chuck! Oh no! Four Loco and Chuck! Who is gonna face Stone Cold ET? Oh, he nips up! He nips up! Oh, he rolls through! Crucifix bomb! Chuck Rowland sees his future! And there's gold in it! Chuck tried to defeat Four Loco! Four Loco tried to get back to the top of the mountain! Both of these guys! They're both going, oh, there's a big lariat! Chuck just took off the head of Loco! One! Two! Oh, Chuck Rowland is the number one contender! Chuck Rowland will face Stone Cold E.T. next week! Wow! Oh, Four Loco the favorite goes down to a huge, strong style lariat! And Chuck Rowland will get the opportunity of a lifetime. Here is your wow. Chuck, Chuck Rowland. Holy bad hip and all. Four Loco was so close to getting back up there again and Chuck stole the spot with that huge decapitating lariat.